to go to Fort Island and other places. Have you ever been on the ferry boat? No. I like it too close. No, no, no. Like y'all frightened to talk to me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Liana from Guyana. And today I'll be taking you guys with me to the west bank of Demerara, Guyana, or as we call it, over the river. I'm here with my dad and my mom. Say hi. And so we're going to Parika as well as another um, fast food joint that we always wanted to visit. So we're going to check that out and take you guys with us. We're approaching the Demerara Harbor Bridge, so we're going to show you that too. I know a lot of folks in the diaspora, Guyanese in the diaspora, like to see what Guyana is looking like. And so in case you haven't seen it in a bit, do stay tuned and we'll be showing you guys around. the Demerara Harbor Bridge coming from the east bank of Demerara. Of course you always have the vendors on standby because there is always a line here and they just ensure that you know they catch their hand as we say it. And they were selling candy and planting chips and those sort of stuff. We're gonna pay the toll here. It's how much? 200? Mm -hmm. 200 Ghana dollars. Uh, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Collect your receipt. And head out. Today, there is no retraction of the bridge. So usually when you're heading over the river or you're coming down to town from over the river, you have to check and see if, um, you have to check the schedule to see if it's gonna close. But today, there is no retraction. So this is when you get over the bridge. This is the view you see. So because we're heading to Parika, we're going to be turning right. And of course, when you get over the river, this is now region three. Here we have some vendors selling cotton candy as well as fish. Is that tilapia, mommy? Yes, and hassle. Tilapia and hassle. something mommy hi that's it <laughs> over here we have pizza hut and burger king so there are many eating places too along the way this is the road to schoonard a new well not new relatively new housing scheme takes you to Parfait Harmony. So we're approaching Vreden Hoop here and this is kind of like a commercial area. We have a number of eating places, stalls as you can see, a gas station and some clothing stores. 
So once we turn here, we're en route to Parika and it's approximately an hour drive. And over here you have the Vreden Hoop Market. Can we stop here? So we're passing a rice field here. It looks very green and lush. And over here as well. Just off of the main road. Ain't that cool? We are approaching Parika now. There's a KFC there. As soon as you make this turn here, uh, you're basically in Parika. And so here is like another commercial area. We have some shopping malls. Uh, some clothing stores huh? Some eating places And of course the market We have a lot of snackets to buy from here Here's the bank And of course because a lot of persons come to Parika to board boats and you know go to the Stellin there is a parking lot so this is a parking lot here at the at the Parika commercial area and yeah it's just a secure area to park your vehicle if you're going to go to Esequibo, Bartico or any one of those places that require you leaving your vehicle and going on a boat this is the best option How much is it? How much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few minutes to spend. Just spend in a few minutes. Well, we don't charge like hours to stay. But if you come back and like, two hours, you can buy one. Buy one, good. Yeah. Spend well, when can you come back? Up, so, right? we can pay when we get back? Yeah. We'll oh. pay when you get back. Yeah. What she said? It's. So, if you spend a day. It is charged by day, but if it's spend enough two minutes, we're going to charge 500. Here we have Popeyes. And I just up the road there, I believe there's a churches, a chicken, many snackets and stalls. Um, this is a taxi car park. Cold coconut water. Hello, good day. You can get just about anything here from clothing to food. Uh, yeah, you can't go with her. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're approaching the Corica Stelling here. You see? And vehicles drive onto the Stelling because some of them actually go onto the ferry boat. They drive onto the ferry boat to cross the river. Yeah, so the vehicles drive all the way through here and they board the ferry in order to cross the Essequibo River. So that's the ferry boat. So what we have here is the ferry boat offloading passengers as well as vehicles. This side of the river takes you to Bartica. So you can get a boat here to go to Bartica. And as you can see here, the vehicles are coming off of the ferry. Let me just try and zoom in a bit. And usually to get onto one of these ferries to go to Essequibo, you have to reach here like 3 a.m. Yeah. The big boat is taking you from Essequibo to Supanam. Here we got another boat coming in, a speedboat that is. These guys are so brave to be standing at the top of the boat. So according to the official that's collecting the money there, it's $1,140 for a car to get onto the ferry one way and um, so I guess you pay the $1,140 to go and $1,140 to come back but it depends on the size of the vehicle so a bigger vehicle would obviously be more money. That big boat there? No, Okay. Thank you. That one is yes. The Okay. So the eastern end of the Stalin takes you to Supanam, Wakenam, Laguan. Laguan. <laughs> and the other side that we just came from takes you to Bartico. The big boat takes you all around. Bartica, Esquibo, Laguan. Right to no? Is it right? Yes, yeah, right now. Almost an extra. Come on, I want sapodillo, but you don't got any ripe ones. This is 500 and this is 1,000 one extra. Martin, I'll write something, right? I'll more. 
got mangoes yes. here. Buy these type if you're buying. And you want the one? The white ones? You have white ones? How are you selling it? Five hundred and thousand. Okay, a thousand? Which one the mangoes you want me? You want the mango, mommy? How much is this here? Thousand here, one extra. Easy. The one shark too. No, no, no. I'm set up for that. Okay. You want five hundred? Pay yeah, five hundred too. No, I don't. Okay. I can take this half of the little. Bring this half of the little. No sand green, yeah. Papa. Mm -mm. How much are you getting for the thousand? The um. Let me see. What? This half of the other. Alright. Some right. Alright. How much is this? A thousand. Hold on, I get to the money. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. I can't hold and record, okay? Mm -hmm. Actually, if she got look you over here, guys, yeah. or half, right? Look here. This one? Yeah. How much, right? How much? Five hundred. Right, five. Right, right. Why are you taking Wait, wait, wait. Before I break it, let me see the bottom. This one look. No, no, find the bottom. All right. Mm -hmm. Tangerine. What? How much have you? Come to the area. Thousand for the big one and three for five. Look over there. Actually, we get a green and some bad like lime. It's good. It's hard to skin down. Skin area is where we get the most red. You want the hand grey cap on, come? Yeah, I got a bite. Yeah, yeah. Any grey and the apple? Yeah, some of the orange. Over here we get the vegetables. That's hot pepper. Um, this. Hot pepper. Yeah, the big one. See, see, see. How much you want? I want two hundred. Okay, for two. Two hundred. You got fine time. Yeah, Mars is here. You got fine time. Three. Shallowed celery, we got some. Pull this on, brother Daddy. You don't get sales when I put you up. <laughs> we got pumpkin, balanje, or eggplant. Um, okra, pumpkin, lettuce. How much is the pumpkin? What's it? What's this? Pepper? Mm -hmm. oh. Edos. Sweet potato. Watermelon. Hallelujah. Cabbage. Edo leaf in the bag. Thanks. Really <laughs> All right, thank you. You're looking at me though. <laughs> All right, I got it. How much is the plant? Yeah. Two pounds, five hundred. Which means two fifty for a pound of plant. Yeah. As you might know, planting prices have gone up. It used to be $120 for a pound. It's now $250 for a pound. How much for the ginger? A thousand a pound for ginger. This has also gone up. Okay. A thousand dollars for a pound. There's a pound? Yeah. That's cool.
No thanks. Just checking. So lemons, grapefruit, the big one there. I got some sour syrup, a little, little soap. Summer two. Oh, like How you sound the summer two? Seven for the, five months. The yellow ones there five. are the summer two. And these are sterapple. You want the summer two, is that? Yeah, Please, sir, uh, seven? Please put the summer two as well. So we're gonna get summer two and uh, grapefruit. These are avocados. Awara and got some achara and pepper at the back there. Nice and pretty. Okay. All this from your farm? Grapefruit. Summer two. Okay, guys. So I just got home and I wanted to show you guys the summer two fruit. I don't know if many of you know about it. So I used to, I haven't had this in the longest while. My, my sister and I, we used to get it from our grandparents. You could just open it up with your hands like this. And this is what inside looks like. I know it looks a bit gross, right? Ew. It looks a bit gross, but it's, it's sweet. It's very similar to passion fruit. And you just slurp it out. Mmm. It's sweet. So it's basically how passion fruit looks with the seeds inside, but a different color. And it's just sweet while passion fruit is sour. This is the mommy. Pink. This is the grapefruit that we bought. Pink. This is how thick the skin is. Pink. Come forward. Pinky, pinky, funky. Hmm. Hmm. Grapefruit. Hmm. 